All right, guys, it's the Gaming Monkey One, and I finally got in my new laptop. If you haven't seen the video, please go check that video out right now. Del Inspiron or Inspiron 15, and um, I'm gonna continue with the Call of Duty Ghost series. There's about 17, 18 missions. This is the fifth mission, so you know we uh got off the helicopter with Riley. So let's see. Okay, what are we gonna do? Okay. Oh, I leave Riley over there. Okay, now we keep on running this way. So I, I really love this laptop, guys. It's, it's very, uh, it's very good, very great, very good, very amazing. All those adjectives, adverbs to describe this laptop. It's, it's one heck of a thing. There's the world file. I'm not gonna grab it. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs. But yeah, it's, it's a, ooh, I like the music. It's very epic. Oh, explosion! All right, I'm gonna get the mini gun. Yeah, but it's a great laptop. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, there it goes. I accidentally shot. Yeah, but it's a great laptop. It works great. Um, I haven't tried to record on the highest settings. You know, just the lowest settings. You know, that's what I'm sticking with right now. And you know, it's not bad. I like it. The laptop. You know, it's really hard to talk and play. You know, they're gonna do it. Yeah, I love. I love this laptop. It's um. Let's see, with the other problem that I had with the older laptop, the HP Pavilion DD6000, first of all, it's Windows uh, Vista laptop, or XP, which one, I think Vista came with. It was Windows Vista 2006 laptop, I got it used um, in 2010, or 2011, and um, I could record with it, there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing really wrong with the laptop, you know, it was great. What is this? Oh, ammo. You know, I could rec- I mean, there was something wrong with it. I could record, um... So basically the problem I had with that one, I could record. Oh, and then of course it, um... Okay, let's see. I could record with it. Okay, this thing is down. Wait, let me just... So I could record. So I can record with the laptop, it's just that whenever I wanted to uh, record with it, I would have to go to Task Manager because I think it had... Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, I love this, I love this. Okay, that's really beat. So I, uh, the laptop was, I had to, uh, it had 2 gigahertz processing power, I think it was dual core. I'm not sure, I think it was a Celeron or a Pentium, I'm not sure, one of those two. But yeah, and then but the RAM was only two gigabytes of RAM, and you gotta remember it's a Windows XP that was upgraded to Windows 7 Professional. So whenever I wanted to record, I would first of all I'd have to um, I'd have to set the um, this is a pretty epic mission. You know, I'm having hard talking, guys. It's just so good, and I haven't really played the campaign yet. The campaigns for Call of Duty have always been pretty good to me. But um, yeah, besides. The, I would always have to go to Task Manager and set it as the, as the highest priority. I'd have to close all other applications. And so, you know, I was running with 2GB RAM. It was barely... The CPU, it was like... It was hard. Like, I could feel the computer... It sounded like a jet engine. It was just like... And just keep on getting louder and louder. I mean, it was ridiculous, guys. And uh, so I can record. No lag and... Uh, Here's the thing though, I wanted to record with commentary like I'm doing right now, I want to commentate. But that was the problem, I couldn't record and commentate. Oh, with Remington. I like the Remington, this is, my, this is one of my favorite guns in online. Um, So I could record and everything. No problem, without commentary, I could record on the lowest settings. You know, I could maybe record like two or three videos before I had to, uh, what's it called, I had to uh, shut down the app and then uh, activate it. Boot it up again, boot, it, uh, boot down the app and then boot it up again. So you know, I could do that, but that's the problem. And then when I would record, the problem was I would record one video, and then the video still has to process, uh, so you can see it on the menu of the Elgato. And then that would like eat up a lot of the uh, computer's processing power. And um, I could only record one video with commentary, and then I'd have to shut down the laptop and. Uh, Shut down the laptop and then turn it on again, 
and then open up Elgato, the capturing software again, and I have to do all that over and over again. And you know, I did it because like all the other, I did it for a long time. You know, I did it with um, what's that game called? The Cave, and I did it with Metro Last Light. So I had to. That's how I, that's how I recorded those videos. You now I have to shut down after every video. You know, and it was it was a, it was a big pain in the butt. It really was. So um, you know. And then uh, I have another laptop, Acer. Um, I forgot what the exact model was, but it's, it's, it's a timeline series. I, swear. I love this. Why don't they, do they have this in multiplayer? I don't know. Yeah, but um, Acer. I don't know. I feel like when I first got the Elgato, that's the laptop that I had. I didn't have anything else, and um, I could record with the Acer pretty good. You know, I, I think at first they didn't have commentary. So, you know, I was able to record with it, but I, I didn't really. But um, I feel like after, after the updates came out for Elgato, like, I don't know, I felt like it started, like, the Acer just couldn't record anymore. Like, it, it, would, it couldn't record with commentary or without commentary. It was basically useless. You know? And I couldn't do anything with it, so, oh, well, here's the K14, so I was like, whatever. Okay, let's just use this. And um, another problem I had with the Acer, I think the um, the screen and the little flex cable that connects to like the actual motherboard or whatever, it's um it comes loose a lot of the times, and you know that's my mom's laptop, so I would use it. Oh great! Oh, I have two memories in though. Uh, ooh, M27. Yes. Let me use this M27. Oh wait, let me use this. Okay, I can do it. So um. It has a problem where, um... Okay, no, 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 no! Okay, it's a good hit. So what was I? I had the problem where, like, um... I guess the flip cable would come loose, and the screen would, uh... How would it look? You know, have you ever seen those when you don't have cable or anything, and you try to look at a channel, it's just very fuzzy, it would do that, and lines would appear on the screen, you have to get the laptop screen at a certain angle for it to, like to actually see something and it was it was really annoying um but i fixed that recently i fixed it on saturday because saturday is when i got the laptop all i did was i opened up the laptop and um i put some extra tape because they have like i guess they use some type of special tape but i just put regular not regular scotch tape it's the um the other clear tape that's in a big big roll i'm not sure what the specific name for that tape is and i was able to fix it and i do that every once in a while but i feel like this time it's going to be more it's going to be permanent so, um, in the HP DB6000, I gave it to my brother, because my brother, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't play games or whatever, he, he just, I just gave it to him to do schoolwork, because it has, a uh, Windows Office 2010, and, you know, that's, that's really expensive, and I got, it, it had the version of Windows Office 2010 that couldn't be, uh, transferred to a different computer, so it's cool, he can have it. Um, but yeah, with this laptop, I can do so many more things that I couldn't, and, um, Maybe some people are going to hate me for this, but Windows 8.1 is really good. I don't know what all the hate was, guys. I really loved it. Oh, there's a grenade. Die! I died! Yeah, I really, I really love Windows 8.1. It's really good, you know? I don't... It didn't take me that long. It didn't take me that long to learn how to use it. I already pretty much know how to do everything and how to, like get the control panel, how to look at my files, you know, the basic stuff. But, you know, it's not that hard to use. I, I love it a lot. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know what people are complaining about. So, yeah, this is going to be my laptop for the time being. I'm going to try to finish this Call of Duty Ghost. It's pretty good. I'm just playing right here and, like, I'm not even thinking, you know. I'm just playing. And it's really good, just shooting stuff. So yeah, I got my new laptop. Um, they got it at Micro Center, like I said. You heard me in my other videos. If you have a Micro Center near your... Uh... Oh, ma, he's dead. Dead black guy. Whoa, why do they have two dead black guys? Look at that. The racism I'm playing. There's... I don't know. <laughs> Another... Is he, is he black? No, he's... Uh... He's white. He's a gringo. 
We need to make sure Dad got out. Burning building. <laughs> Do I help you? No. Okay, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Watch out. Oh yeah, and um. Shit, I, can't get through. Just go I feel like this lap was really good too. Oh, and um, like, what's another good thing about it? It had four gigabytes of RAM, but I uh, had uh, an extra. It takes DDR3. And I had an extra two gigabyte one, so now I upgrade. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Quick time event? No, he just. Oh, you punk! Oh, dude, this guy looks evil. What is he about to do? Oh, he takes out the knife. No, Riley! <laughs> Riley! I will avenge you, Riley! Riley! No! 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 Okay, there we go. Shit. You're yes, I'm bleeding. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, and, uh, so this laptop now has 6 gigabytes of RAM, Intel Pentium 1.9 gigahertz. Oh, they're the ghost. Oh snap! All right, get us out of here. So yeah, it's a pretty good laptop. I love it. Uh, it does everything that I need. Um, and Windows 8.1 is pretty good. Go back. Our dad's down there. We're not leaving without him. That's real admirable. Here he goes. I am your father. Spoiler. Yep. I'm right here. Dad, this whole time, you you were one of them. You were a ghost. Right, the ghost. That's your commanding officer. You boys have no idea how hard this was for me. But once I make a choice, there's no turning back. You and your brother still have a lot to learn, but you passed all your tests. Welcome to the Ghosts. We're ready. We'll lay you down. There's no way you ever could. I'm proud of you. Both of you. It's all well and good. But what the hell are we gonna do about Rourke? Rourke. That's the guy hunting the Ghost train. Oh yeah, and another thing, the microphone on this laptop... Oh gosh, like this laptop, like, everything about it is just, you know, it's not the most powerful. I think it just recently came out too. It's like one of the new Dell Inspiron online, like I think late 2013 or maybe early, like around November, December, January, it came out around that time. I'm guessing it came out around December, maybe November. So it's pretty new. And um, it's just, this laptop has been getting good reviews, just the model, because there's different models. I think one that has i3, one that has i5, and then I... I think that's as far as it'll go. But just this Pentium one. Oh, I think there's one that has a Celeron too. That's like below this one. But just the Pentium, I mean, it's really good. Like, startup is quick. Uh, shutting down is quick. Um, I mean, the only one thing, the, the only one thing, there we go, I'm being illiterate. The one thing I don't like is uh, when you have to shut down, you have to go to the right and then go down and shut down. I mean, that's not really that big of a problem. Alright guys, so this is the end of the fifth mission. We're about to go to the sixth mission. Thank you for watching. There it goes. Alright guys. Peace!